Welcome to Design Fusion's Solid Edge blog. This is part one of a three part series on the variable table. In part one, we'll do an introduction to the Solid Edge variable table. The variable command is located on the Tools tab and allows users to access the variable table. In the variable table, you can define and manipulate design variables and their values, as well as establish functional relationships between the design variables. The variable table operates much like a software spreadsheet. Users can use the variable table to define and edit functional relationships between the variables and dimensions of a design in a familiar spreadsheet format. Each row of the table displays a variable. A series of columns is used to list the various properties of the variable, such as type, name, value, rule, formula, and range, etc. Users can use variables to do the following. Control a dimension with another dimension. Define a variable. Control a dimension with a formula. Control a dimension with a formula and another dimension. Control a dimension with a formula that includes a function. And reference physical and material properties of a model in goal-seeking calculations. Some examples are shown on this slide. There are also advanced capabilities the user can use variables for, such as Reference simulation properties generated by a finite element analysis study in design optimization. Control a dimension with a value from a spreadsheet, such as Microsoft Excel document, by copying the value from the spreadsheet into the variable table with the paste link command. Users can also use a VB script function or subroutine in the formula. It's important to note that the trig functions available in the variable table always assume that the input value for the function is in radians and returns the results in radians, not in degrees. I will explain this more in part two of this blog series. Different types of variables are displayed in the variable table. You can filter variables by selecting one or more of the variable types using the filter option in the variable table. The filters shown here are the newer filters introduced in Solid Edge 2024. For the full definition of each variable type, click on the help button in the variable table. Let's have a quick look at the variable table in Solid Edge. To access the variable table for this part, I go to the Tools tab and select the Variables command from the Variable group. The Variable table is launched and you can see there are numerous variables listed here. Notice that I have the filter icon in the active state already. This allows me to see the three filter options. I can use the Variable table filters to reduce the number of variables shown in the table. For example, I can uncheck certain types in the pull-down menu. When I click Apply, notice the number of visible variables have been reduced. Next, I will uncheck all the types except the User Variables type. Plus, I only want to see the user variables that were named by a user. When I click Apply, you can see that now only two variables are visible. Notice that one of the filter options is called Graphics In. This allows us to apply a filter to display or hide variables that are associated with selected elements in the current file, a select set, or an active window. Let's go back to the Named By filter option and select System Named Variables. I click Apply and all the System Named User Variables appear in the table or I can select the Named by Both option and click Apply. Now all the user variables appear. I'll turn on all the variable types in the pull-down menu. 
Then click Apply and you'll notice that all the variables are once again visible. To close the variable table, I just click the X in the top right corner of the table. Users can directly edit ordered variable names, values, and formulas in the variable table if the information exists in a cell with a white background. If a variable value exists in a cell with a gray background, it means that the data is controlled by another variable, dimension, or formula. Cells with a gray background cannot be edited directly. All synchronous variable value cells have either an open lock displayed or the close lock displayed. It is best practice to change values on locked variables. In older versions of Solid Edge, users could only edit locked variables. Users can click the lock in the cell to toggle between open and closed. To change data in a cell with a white background, simply click in the cell, type in the new information, and then press enter. Make sure that you press enter, otherwise the new information will not register into the cell. In the synchronous paradigm, to change data in a cell with a lock button, double click the value and the edit dimension box appears. Type the new information and then press enter. Let's see how this works in Solid Edge. Notice that I am using a synchronous part model for this demonstration. From my Tools tab, I click on the Variables command. Notice that I can adjust column widths as needed. Currently, I have a list of system name variables here and a couple of formulas already created. I'll cover formulas in part two of this blog series. Notice that as I click on a variable name in the table, the corresponding variable highlights in the display. Let's rename some of these variable names. You change the name in the cell the same way you would change the name in a spreadsheet. I'll first change linear underscore one to height, making sure that I hit the enter key. Notice that the variable name is also updated in the existing formula. I'll then change linear underscore two to width. Again, notice that this variable name was also updated in the existing formula. Then I'll change linear underscore three to length. I'll close the variable table to illustrate the following. I'll right click on a dimension and select the show all names option from the shortcut menu. Notice that the new names appear on the display. I'll right click on the dimension again and return to the show all values option. Next, I will reopen the variable table. Notice that my whole positioning dimensions are in an unlocked state. I can lock these in the traditional way or I can lock these directly from the variable table. Likewise, I can unlock these directly from the variable table. The best practice is to lock your synchronous dimensions if you plan to drive the model from the variable table. In the ordered paradigm, I can change a variable value the same way I change the variable name. However, in the synchronous paradigm, I must double click in the value cell. This launches the edit dimension box. I can use this the same way I would on the display screen to change the value. For example, let's change the length to 500 symmetrically. Notice how the model is updated. Let's also change the width symmetrically to 350. Again, the model updates. Also notice that the diameter of the center cutout updated as it is controlled by a formula using the width variable. This completes the introduction to the variable table. In part two of this series, we will look at creating formulas and rules. Want to learn more?
sign up to our customer portal at the website listed here, where you have access to knowledge base articles, tips and tricks, how to articles, and much more. If you need additional support, contact our support team at support at designfusion.com or call us at 1 877 215 1883.